Yo, so I'm just gonna say at the beginning of this video, um, I've, uh, I, I tried to re-record this and do it all in one take, but, um, this is, like, the footage that you're about to see is the, like, the first time of me talking about it out loud and stuff, and it, and it just sort of, like, captured my emotion about everything really well that I'm gonna talk about in this video, um, so, but... I get a bit like messy in my explanations at some point because I get like a bit frustrated or like overwhelmed or too emotional. So I'm just gonna jump in and out um, of, of voicing over stuff. Also, uh, th this video is like hardly cut up because I, 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 you know, it's not it's not here for retention. This is if you want to watch it. Okay. Oh, um, hi, yo, what's going on? Uh, so if you're watching this video, okay, first of all, um, this video isn't s supposed to be funny. It's not meant to be funny. That's not like my intention with it. The intention of this video is to just basically let, I don't know, like my, I feel like I owe an ex, I don't know why. I feel like I owe an explanation I don't. I don't owe an explanation, but I'd like to give an explanation to why I've sort of just, I've not been around this year. Because, um, whether you've, like, uh, found me from, like, the Halloween stream or, like, you just discovered me across this year, uh, I've just not been, I've not been active. And it's, like, from the outside I feel like 100% because if I didn't know anything, I would think the exact same thing. It just seems like I like sort of like got given such a great opportunity and like in a lot of people's eyes, it seems like I wasted it or am wasting it. And that's like, and I think that's a big part of why I kind of want to say this because it's, you know, like I have like friend, okay. Cause you know, I have like friends and like, and, uh, and, 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 you know, I see like tweets from viewers and it's kind of like, you know, the majority of the time it's never like negative. It's just that people miss me and they want like, uh, they want me to like, just create stuff. Like, um, like I had a, <clears throat> sorry, I had a chat with, uh, I hope they don't mind this. I had a chat with Tom and Bran, uh, at one point and they were just kind of, they were just kind of saying like that they thought like I was just really creative and funny and they just want to see me back to like doing my own my own thing so and I want to get back to doing my own thing too now but but when like these people like um say these things and ask these things they they kind of want to know, like, why I've not been around. But obviously, like, I mean, like, anything that you, like, I don't know. Anything can be tough to talk about, you know? And, like, this is one of the things that is tough to, to talk about to, to people on the spot. So what I'm actually trying to say here is um, that I, I'd spoken to friends. Um, and, like, I, I've been receiving, like, support and stuff like that. Uh but the, the, the hard thing is, is uh, for me, it when they ask why I'm not live, I, it, it's more of like a pile of things. So maybe at the time it was nothing in particular. And also I, I'd get too much uh, anxiety and I'd feel bad about, you know, maybe dumping all this stuff on them. So I just really wouldn't say anything. And that's what I was trying to say. Uh, it, it's too hard for me to talk about. But I did, I wanted to get back on track to being better. Because it's also almost like, um, I mean, it's a personal thing. And, uh, and I think like, uh, you know, so I just want to make this video so I can just, so I like get it off my chest so I can just like tell everybody at once. You know what I mean? Um, so I just want to like start from like the beginning of the year, really. Uh, so it sort of like got a bit messy when I first like um, 
back December this time last year when I went to America uh, because it was overwhelming. Like, I'm still like, oh my god, I'm so grateful and I loved that trip and it was like, well, okay. I did, like, I loved, like, a lot about that trip and it was, um, and it was really cool, you know? But, like, I thought, I thought I was, like, ready for, like, you know, like, everybody to discover me and I, like, quickly realised, you know, maybe I was ready for that, but, um, I, I think I overestimated how much I could, like, process at the time i i sort of viewed myself as like this uh like unstoppable force of like creativity and passion and i was like fuck yeah let's just keep moving on to the next thing let's keep working let's keep going and and obviously what happened is i just got fucking burnt out i got burnt out like immediately and everybody was telling me like you know watch yourself you're gonna get burnt out and i just kind of didn't listen because back then i was just really um I mean, not saying that I'm not now, uh, but I was just, I was just really immature back then, like extra immature. And I kind of just, I don't know. I, I kind of, I knew what I wanted to do, but I just, after having like this, like massive blow up in my head, it was like so much pressure that like the next step I made, um, it was like all eyes on me. Does that make sense? And like, don't get me wrong. Like I did all that shit, but I, I, I spent too much time focusing on, um, perfecting it and, 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 um, p perfecting whatever I was working on at the time. And, and, and I'd overthink my like projects I wanted to do. And I'd like doubt myself and, uh, and yeah, so this just resulted in, in almost like radio silence. And I would usually, like, mainly stay, like, uploading to Twitter. Uh, and if you, if you, like, if you do, like, if you are a viewer of me, then you probably know that, like, Twitter is probably my most, like, consistent place at the moment. Um, and that was okay and everything. Uh, but, yeah, I was, like, already doubting myself and, like... Uh, kind of overthinking like every every little thing and this just was and like on top of the burnout this just it just what so basically on top of the burnout and all this shit i just ended up like dissociating for that and like almost like entire trip which is kind of like weird to explain because i'm oh, fuck's sake It's weird to explain if you if you don't really like understand it it's just it's like uh you keep going and you're like and you're doing stuff and like you're accomplishing tasks and everything but you're not okay um so again here what i'm trying to say is uh basically when when you dissociate it's it's almost like somebody else living your life um, you're, uh, and that kind of messed with me a lot, you know, especially because it was me almost accomplish. it was me accomplishing my dreams, but, you know, I worked in my eyes, like, so hard to get to that point to, uh, accomplish these dreams, and then it was like I, I wasn't even fucking there to, like, see it, like, I have the, I have, like, the photo proof and everything like that, but I just, it, it wasn't, I didn't feel like, I, I personally, like, don't even remember a lot from that trip anymore. So, yeah, that's what I was trying to say. But something feels off. I think that was the main thing. It just, uh, it felt off because it's, you're, ex like, it's almost like you're watching what's happening. And I was just kind of like, um, not that I didn't want to, because I'm, you know, like, I'm an, imp I'm an impulsive person and, like, uh, and I just, and I just sort of, like, ended up, like, trying to do, like, everything, and, like, I just wanted to, like, I had this thing about, like, I've always had this since, like, I was just, like, a little kid, like, I just want to, I just want to live, I just want to, like, 
I want to ex. I wanted to like experience life to the fullest. Um, and that's like you know. You know, I just wanted to like enjoy myself to like the maximum possibility. And it just. It's such a shame because in doing that, I just like. I could have had like, don't get me wrong, I still have memories of that trip, but like I could have had like remembered so many better memories, but I just, I can't remember them because it wasn't, it didn't feel like it was me at the wheel, you know? Okay, sorry, I'm going to jump in here again. What I'm, what I'm trying to say is that um, uh, basically I, I just wanted to like experience as much like, you know, I, I felt like I'd been locked inside as well because of COVID and everything. And I just wanted to like almost break free. So I ended up like, if anybody would ask me to like, if they if they need like, if they wanted to record or like some shit like that or like some blah, 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 I'd just, I'd like be like, yeah, fuck yeah, let's do it. Like, um, because I just wanted to, I wanted to do as much as possible. And like I said previously in the video, the burnout, like this didn't fucking help it. it like it, I got in my own head about like who I was and I was trying to be like, I forgot, like, the people wanted to watch me for me, and I was trying to be, like, other people, and it just got all messy. Anyway. Okay, again, another quick explanation. What I mean by this is, um, so whilst all of that stuff was going on, and I was, like, doing a bunch of streams, a bunch of videos, I just forgot who I was. I forgot who I was as a person, as a streamer, content creator. So I'd, um, I'd look around at other people and try and almost, like, uh, maybe mimic or like uh, try and, uh, you know, I just, I, I forgot on, I forgot how to be unique and I forgot everything like that. And, um, and if somebody was like, you know, just be yourself, I was like, no, 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 that, you know, the, the people don't want that. This is what they find funny. I, um, I got way too caught up in everything. After the America trip, I sort of came back and like, Okay, I'm going to jump in here um, because I end up getting a bit too emotional. But <clears throat> basically, I'd, I'd been dissociating in America and I, um, and I came back. And, uh, and I was still in this dissociated period for a little bit uh, as I got back. And, um, and I was working, and I was working, but I was slowly sort of slipping out of this dissociating uh, phase, I guess. But the, the problem here was, is now that I'd actually, uh, you know, felt like I'd came back, or as I was coming back to the real world, uh, um, I felt like I was, I was failing my, my, myself. Because uh, before I'd like sl slipped away, if you like, um, you know, like everything in my life felt really fucking like exciting and fast paced. And as I got back, um, I kind of just struggled with that content again. You know, I started, I started, like I was saying, I didn't, I didn't really know who I was at the moment. So I started relying on people to be funny. I was like, I, I was always reaching out to people, seeing if they'd hang out with me. Um, and and the issue with this is, you know, there's only so many people you can reach out to. Uh, and then if, you know, if somebody would, you know, say that they'd help out with something and then didn't respond, because I'll be transparent, I mean, fuck me. If you're in the scene, then, you know, this happens a million times every fucking other Tuesday. You reach out to somebody, they tell you that they're going to do something and then, and then you never get a response again. And this would fuck with me because I, I, I'd think, oh, no, well, people don't like me. Oh, no. So I, um, I kind of, you know, ha had like a mini halt with content. So we get to this point, right? Where it's like, um, I'm not doing anything and I've, and I've now, and I've now slipped out of like dissociating and I feel like I'm back in the world, but from, from, uh, from Okay, sorry. From the beginning of like the dissociation to where I ended up, uh, it felt like I like time skipped, but like 
it felt like I like went to sleep like living my dream and woke up in like this weird like mental space and like just something like I didn't I just I wasn't <clears throat> just something I didn't enjoy sorry something I didn't enjoy uh because you know because I got like too wrapped up in the numbers and like and like I overthank a lot uh overthought a lot and it was just yeah it became like and that and that's where it's sort of the switch I can't give you exact days because it's it's kind of blurry but that's where I remember the switch kind of happened and I was like all of a sudden I was a bit like whoa what you know because like I was like whoa what the fuck life's going a bit crazy right now because you gotta like remember like I just came from school and then bounced out of that and then got in college to drop out and then all of a sudden kaboom and it felt like there was so much and and hi 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 and then I went like and then because because um because I just doubted myself and all sorts of things it just went like went from like so Also, I just want to say, I, I know that I didn't fall off or anything like this, but what I'm trying to say is in my head, uh, it felt like I was at the top. And then because uh, I was just being stupid about numbers and everything, it felt like I fell off. I'm not saying, you know, and stuff like that. Yeah, I, yeah. Um... And now, like, the next part. And basically, I just, I, like... And since that point, uh, and then and then basically after that, I was kind of, like, struggling for a while. I was... I was kind of, like, struggling for a while and just, like, trying to distract myself. Um... And this went on for like a couple of months. And then there was like another, like, and then it felt like there was another like pivotal point that like hit my life. Um, I was still 17 at this point, but I like, for some reason, I felt like I'd became an adult. Like I was doing like more like adulty things. Like I was talking about like to my parents about like I, how I wanted to move out and like... And, uh, and, you know, just, like, just stupid shit. And then, but don't get me wrong, like, I was doing, but this is, like, the difficult thing is that I was already in this, like, weird, like, bad, like, space. And then I was doing all this, like, adult shit, right? Or whatever the fuck you want to, or whatever you want to call it. And, but I was still trying to like process everything and I just I think at some point I just forgot that I was a fucking kid I just forgot I was a kid and I was letting like the fucking pressure of everything like just overwhelm me so I wasn't like thinking properly so I just like keep fucking rolling with the ball man like I keep going like that's it's like a treadmill and like I just like I'd keep fucking running on it and if I stop to think then like you like you fall off is how it felt and I mean yeah we like time skip a bit and <laughs> yeah we time skip a bit and over this, like, long span of time where, like, I'd, like, like, from the America trip, like, over all of this, like, time, up until then, I just, I got so wrapped up in my, like, like, YouTube and Twitch and everything, and I got so wrapped up in just life or, like, worrying about just stuff that I shouldn't have been worrying about at, like, that time, and I just... And I forgot to look after my health. And like a lot of you know. And a lot of you know that I'm um, diabetic. And I think it was like. I can't remember when about. I think it was like the beginning of March. And then I came back in June. Basically. Um, I'd, 
I forgot to look after my health and I was diabetic, which, so it was like even more important to look after my health, which is stupid that I neglected that. But what, <sighs> what happened is like the, the fucking like the burnout, the dissociation, the fucking like the depression and, 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 and all of this like overwhelming shit. It just took, it just swamped me. And then on top of this, I like, I hit this like fucking, I just forgot to look after myself. So then I just like dropped ill. Like I, I just fucked up my blood sugars and I just fucking got really ill and had to take like a bunch of time off. And this is, and this was a thing. It just felt like one thing after the another. It felt like one thing after another. And obviously the whole time I'm, I'm, I'm all of this is going on. I'm, you know, I'm worrying about like numbers, like, um, I'm worrying like if, if, you know, I'm like overthinking about like friendships. I'm just doing a, a bunch of shit. And like in this brief time that like, I had to take off for my health, I sort of like, I got to have like this like, because I had no choice but to lay in bed, I just had like this mental like, a, not, I, I can't even call it epiphany, I just, I, I, almost, I, I think I just, I gave up. So um, what I mean here is, uh, all of this stuff piled up on top of me, uh, these like previous problems I've been having, and then um, I almost uh, like hit him at like a, you know, like a metaphorical wall. Uh, and then because I was ill and I, and I had to be in like a bed, you know, for like most of the days, um, basically I, I had to sit, I had to sit with myself and, and my thoughts and, um, and it was, it was too much for me to like, try and like, you know, one by one break this stuff down. So what my brain did is it just, it, it just almost switched off. It, it didn't even want to think about it. Um, and then this next part that I talk about is um, after I've uh, started getting healthier. I think I just gave up. And like, I just, I just, I didn't know what to do with any of this social media shit. Cause I felt like every time I touched it, I just, I was just like making it worse. So I just like fucked off for real life, it, like to the real world for a bit. And you know, I, you know, I like, I was a teenager. I went out, I like, I met people. I like, I don't know, I went out to events. I did all sorts, you know, like uh, I, I tried a bunch of different shit, you know, things that made me happier, didn't like make me happy anymore. And it just all got like super messy and again, just overwhelming. And it's, and, and this whole time, I, 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 you know, like I'm not, I'm not surprised that everybody, it's not everybody. I'm not surprised that people would think that I was just fucking being lazy or something like that because I, what, because I couldn't like, I can't other than like up until now, I just felt like I couldn't talk about this shit. Do you know what I mean? It just didn't feel like right or like, I don't know. And it's, and I don't, and I don't even really know if I'm going to upload this video, but if you're watching it, then Hey, I did because this is still like kind of like a weird, like really personal thing to put out on the internet. But yeah, anyway, like I, I just went for a bunch of shit and I like, I got like caught up in like a, like a lot of like, like the partying lifestyle and stuff like that. And, you know, I got caught of like dragged up from like being young and I still am young and I, and I like it, but I just, I just like lost all sense of a schedule or like what the fuck I was doing. So then, so then I come, I like, I come back to like, obviously I, you know, I go out, I like experience life. I come back to streaming. I do that for like a week or two. And I, and it felt, it felt different. Like I just didn't feel, 
my entire life, the one thing I could always rely on is that I felt like I could make people happy, and I felt like I was funny, and, like, shit like this. I came back, and I just lost that, like, sense of, like, showmanship. Like, I was, like, pre-planning shit, but I just didn't feel the same, like, fucking joy that I used to, man. I think I was, like, scared that I'd, like, lost who I was over this time. And so what happened is, um, I just kind of ran off again. And I, like, kept going meeting people in, like, whatever, like, the real world or whatever. And I just kept, like, um, meeting up and I, and I kind of got caught up in a lot of, like, I don't know, like, the party scene type of stuff. I didn't, I didn't feel happy, I didn't feel okay or happy with just, like, starting the day with nothing going on and, like, ending the day with nothing going on. So I would, like, always be looking for, like, you know, who's about, who wants to, like, get, you know, who wants to do this, who wants to do that. And I'd always be looking for, like, the next thing to jump to because I didn't want to almost, I didn't want to deal with the shit that was going on outside of this because I didn't know, I didn't know how to deal with it. I didn't know what to do. Um... So, I, um, and that's kind of where I've been, you know, like, even with, uh, like, doing the occasional stream here and there, moving into my own fucking house, like, doing all this, like, what seems like from the outside, like, amazing, you know, like, awesome shit, I've just not been around, and it's because I've just... I didn't want to be around, like, I just didn't want to deal with, like, everyday shit. And I'm not saying, like, I'm completely at the end of my fucking journey with all this stuff, but, um, but I'm getting better at it. And, like, I'm sort of, instead of running away, like, I'm, I'm, like, using, like, my impulsivity to, like, do, like, you know, more healthy things and stuff like that. Um, and I'll be honest, like, uh, uh, so that, t that chat I was on about with Tom and Brown was really recent. And, um, and it sort of sparked something inside of me, and I, like, almost, all of us, like, it was weird, like, they, they were talking to me, and it was like, I just remembered who I used to be, and I, like, just had, like, a moment of clarity, and I miss that, man, and I'm not saying I want to be 100% the person I used to be, like, I, I from, like, a, 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 a personal life standpoint, like, I've matured a lot, and, like, I've done, I don't know, I've just, uh, I changed a lot, like, a lot of, like my characteristics and like I don't know like points of view and everything like that they've all changed you know but I feel like I like this is so stupid bro I like I was I was doing a recording today for somebody with with a bunch of friends and we were recording it and uh and, like, every now and again, like, people would, like, turn to me and be like, nah, man, that's, like, really funny. Or they'd be like, bro, good job today. You were, like, super funny. And I just, I felt like, my, I felt like that old, like, funny Bill again. Do you know what I mean? And it's, and it, and it, and it felt fucking, and it felt special. And I hadn't felt like that in a, in a while. Um, I've been on like a better path and I'm getting better and it's, and it's cool. And I don't know. I just basically, the summary is, is I've just, I've, and it's like, I don't want to like, I don't know. People are just going to be funny about this. I'm not saying like, you know, my, my problems this year were like mega fucking terrible. And it like, excuse me for just falling off the fucking face of the earth. 
but what I am saying is like that. I mean, for me, it was it was too much, and that's why I've not been around. And it's, and I don't like not being around. But, on a positive note, um, I've been getting, like, help from friends, and I've been getting just so much, like, like, I don't know how to explain, well, no, realistically, the backbone of, like, me getting back to being happier and being healthier has been my friends, like, um, whether it's, like, just, like, um, like, I don't know, like, emotional help or, like, or they're just somebody who's, like, always down to, like, hang out or they want to help me with, like, but coming on my streams and shit, like, just my friends have sort of been, like, my backbone recently. And it's helped a lot. And I don't know, like, I also, you know, of course I wanted to post this video to update you guys. But I also just wanted to, like, I want you guys to listen to, like, sort of what I'm saying. And I just, if you're, like, if you feel like you're in a similar spot, like, I just wish I'd, like... Being able to, like, figure this out sooner. But I want to let you know, like, sometimes you can't figure this shit out in the moment. And sometimes it's like what happened with me. Like, it takes fucking months and it really sucks. It really fucking sucks, dude. But it... You're probably going to be on this earth for, like, fucking, like, you know... If you felt like, you know, recently life's been feeling really fucking long and everything like that, it's like, um, it's like, I got news for you, buddy, it's probably gonna be longer, but that's not a bad thing, man. That's not a bad thing. It means that there's still time for shit to change, you know, and shit will change. You've just got to, I feel like you've got to have like the right environment, the right people around you. And just overall want to want to be better and like get better. But this has been like my update video. Um Yeah, like I said at the beginning, it probably was a bit cringe. So apologies, but thank you for listening if you did. And um whether like you discovered me all the way back last year and you're like and you don't watch me anymore, but you just wanted to watch, uh, just, I don't know, see what's going on, or you found me, like, last fucking week, and this is a bit of a surprise to you, because you've been watching my old content, and you're like, oh, what the fuck, what's going on with this guy, um, I want to let you know I'm gonna, I'm on the road to, like, I don't know, just better shit, and at, like for the first time in forever i've had like the i've had i've had the motivation to get up and like want to do something with myself you know and i think that's really cool and i'm kind of happy about it but yeah uh i guess that's it all right goodbye bozos <laughs>